15 weeks ago, I had a crazy idea to fly over to the USA for a thrift trip. The only problem was, I didn't have any money. So for the past four months, I've been going out to local thrift stores to try and find items that I can flip for a profit on eBay in the hopes of saving $8,000 to fund the trip. We're now just two weeks away and I'm only $210 off hitting this budget. So let's dive back into the thrift and we'll see what we can find to get this trip underway. Fast start guys, I've got a number of clothing items to take you through here, so pay attention. I've got the Nike Tour Performance Golf Polo shirt for eight bucks, that's a win. And then I've also got Tommy Bahama times two. They should go into about 30 bucks each, so they were good for $8. I've also got RM Williams. These ones can go for a little more, 35 to 40 bucks. And I've also found some Super Dry, which is an absolute staple. Eight bucks should go into about 30. So six items of clothing. I think that's a fantastic start, but it wasn't everything. I jumped into the winter wear and I found this Stanford University hoodie. I always love finding the genuine uh, US merchandise. So that one should go for, I don't know, maybe $30. There wasn't too many comps to go by, but anyone that may have been to that university prior will no doubt want to get their hands on it. The anti-order, I've gone ahead and picked this one up. Look, there's not a ton of comps on eBay for this brand. I just like the look of it. And sometimes that's all you need to go by. This one was $8. It should convert for me pretty well. How about this for three really clean pair of shoes in the thrift, guys? These Puma Fuel Cells, look, they're a pair of women's running shoes. I've gone ahead and picked them up purely based on the condition, $15. I thought that was an absolute steal. I've also got some Converse All-Stars here as well. These are in great condition. They can turn into about 50 bucks on eBay. Really like the color on those ones there. $15, not too bad. I passed actually based on condition for these ones here. Probably could have scrubbed them up and they would have done okay, but in the end, I did leave them behind. But there were one other. These ones right here, the Reebok running shoes. I've gone ahead and picked these up. Well, actually, they're more a cross trainer. They're more for the gym. Um, so they were a cool little find as well. Now, we moved into the bottom section of the clothing, guys. These pants. I wanted to have a quick chat about these. This is Fox Racing. Now, I've found four pairs. You'll see in a second, there's actually four pairs of these and they were all priced at $5 a piece. So I couldn't really say no. I've never really seen this brand too heavily before. There were a number of comps on eBay though, only around that sort of $25 to $30 price point. So for five bucks, I've taken a bit of a punt on these. I might do them as a bit of a bundle. I've also got these here though. This is absolute quality. You're looking at about 55 to 60 bucks here for these RM Williams pants. So that was a really good grab. I've also got the 311 uh, Levi Strauss shaping uh, jeans and a massive one to finish here as well. The nudie jeans, always look out for those. Hey guys, usually at this point of the video, I'd call it an end to op shop run number one, but this store is so good, I'm gonna spend a bit more time in here. There's just so much stuff. Well, I've made my way down to the DVD section, an area I know and love. And fortunately, there's a number of really good DVDs to take you through. The first one here, I've sold this one before. This one is Rizzoli and Isles, and it sells for about $14.50. That was actually my comp, so I should be able to get a quick turnaround there for that one. Uh, this one is a good one if you can find a complete set, the Inspector Lindley. Um, I'm thinking about $15 a piece for those as well. So three of the seasons, not too bad there. 12 Monkeys, if you can get all four seasons, $65 pre-owned. That's pretty fantastic as well. Lip Service Season 1 to 2. I'm going to go for about maybe $25 free postage on those two right there as a bit of a bundle. And then I've got some later seasons of Are You Being Served? And they go for upwards of $20. So hopefully there can be sort of $15 to 20 bucks a piece on all of them as well. Now, all of these that you're seeing here comp out to $15. Bucks. Middle March, North and South, and uh, we had one other, which was this one here, Wives and Daughters. Um, so they all go for about 15 bucks, and I'm paying $2 a piece for those. Now, found Mario Kart just hiding in the electronics section, a $3 purchase price on this one here. I checked the disc, and it was in great condition. So we've got away with one there. That game always goes in a couple of days' time on eBay, and I should get about 30 bucks for it. I found this as well. Now, there was a Nintendo DS uh, priced up for $20, and the benefit of that is that it does sell in itself for 64 bucks. but there are a number of games that came along with it, and I actually had this allocation of games in a recent video and you guys said that there was a game that I had missed which was this one here Rhythm Heaven it actually sells anywhere between 30 to 50 dollars so because of those messages I've gone back into the store and for 20 bucks I've been able to buy the entire bundle should get about a hundred for it well that was a massive start to the day guys 168 dollars spent it's 11 15 I've spent two hours in this lifeline store it's by far my favorite store on the Gold Coast so don't even know how many items we've got so far, but definitely a whole stack of profit. Let's keep moving.
Really like the look of this Ruka jumper, but I didn't like the $20 price point associated to it. So for that reason, I quickly put it back onto the shelf. I've got this one here as well, though, which I've gone ahead and grabbed. I really like the $8 price point on this. A size large Nike T. Golden State Warriors playing some very good basketball in a really tight playoff game against the Memphis Grizzlies at the moment. So I've gone ahead and grabbed that. That was a good little find. Hey, need your help in the comments below. What have I got here? $10 Adidas jersey. I have no idea what it is, but I've gone ahead and made the purchase. So if you know it, let me know in the comments below. Here's a brand that I have not found for a very, very long time, but Paul and Shark Yachting. If you can find this brand, guys, you're going to go on to make some very, very good money. Very high-end uh, brand, this one. So I've gone ahead and made the purchase there for $5. For the second time today, the Stanford Cardinal tee, a Nike tee for 7 bucks, but I did leave it behind. And a third... This is very strange that we're finding three Stanford University tops, but uh, I just grabbed that hoodie in the first op shop and I left those two behind. I thought these uh, Puma running shoes were in pretty decent condition, just like the Pumas I found in the first run as well. And then I was upping and ahhing for a very, very long time on these ASICS Gel Kayano 25s. A $7 purchase price. That's what's made me go ahead and make the purchase. But I was arming and arming over those soles. They did look pretty horrendous. Uh, I found some hats though. This hat here, this 4X Gold, Proudly Queensland. They actually go for some really good money, but you know what? I actually left that one behind for two bucks. Probably should have grabbed it. And then I found a stack of video games here as well, guys. And I went through every single one of these. Have a look at some of these titles. But unfortunately, there was just no value. The best I was seeing was about $15. Tekken 4, I think, was $15. Bucks. Um, but yeah, I ended up leaving them all behind. This one, though, was interesting. I found a Diablo uh, game. Now, these Diablo Battle Crest, uh, or Battle Chest, I should say, games go for some pretty good money. A $12 purchase price. I believe the key cards had been used, so I'll put that one away. So, no luck there. Oh, guys, the ASICS Gel Kayano 25s. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you'll know just how much I love finding these shoes. So even with the condition with soles like that, I've still had to go ahead and make the purchase. $7, you can't say no, but I would love to know, with that condition, with that quality of sole, would you have made the purchase? Let's make a good day great, guys, with the last run of the day. I found a couple of DVDs here that go for some decent money, 10 to $15. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. I've gone ahead and sold that a few times before, so happy to find that. And then Veronica Mars, you're going to get anywhere between sort of $25 to $35 for the three seasons. So I've gone ahead and picked that up as well. Jumped to another store, and we've got The Mentalist here for $3. I've got about $12.50 for that. And then I found a $1 DVD bin in a third op shop. And, well, I actually found a Nintendo Wii game hiding in there, Sonic and the uh, Black Knight. So that one goes for about 20 to 25 dollars it is complete the disc was good so it was a good little random find i only had to pay the dollar to get my hands on that one uh, david smith oh, i generally pick up david smith at least once a week and here's a pair of casual shorts for five dollars so they always turn around for some good money and then i found this really cool european soccer jersey as well i'm always picking these up if they're genuine and this one here certainly is so I'm thinking about $30 to $35 for this one here. It was a 2XL as well, which is pretty good. How about Tiger Woods? We've got the Tiger Woods collection here. Size large Nike polo shirt for four bucks. Should get about 35 for that one to wrap this day up. It really has been a massive day of thrifting, guys. All up, I've got 48 listings for my eBay business. A total spend of $241 today, and that works out to just an average purchase price of $5 per listing, which I think is fantastic. But the big picture, guys, week 15, we can accumulate $1,300 worth of eBay resale value out of today's haul, and I always work off 45% for what I deem to be my profit at the end of the day. And that works out to $585 today. So guys, we have just achieved the $8,000 that we've been searching for over the last 15 weeks. So really exciting stuff. I'm so stoked to be here and actually have achieved this number in the time frame that I'd set myself coming out every single Thursday uh, for a thrift run. A lot of you guys have been along for the journey the entire way. So I really do appreciate your support. and. To continue to thank you for being a part of the journey, I've got the giveaways to do as well. We've got these here, uh, the ASICS Gel Nimbus 20s, um, really good pair of women's running shoes. They're a US size eight, and I'm pleased to report that the lucky winner is Hayden Smith. Well done, Hayden, and thank you very much for your support of the channel, mate. Shoot me a note on Instagram, we'll get those across to you. I'm gonna do another giveaway, and I'll be doing another one next week as well to round this one out. We've got Rhythm Heaven on Nintendo DS. A lot of you guys in my last video, like I said, you guys uh, knew that this one was worth some money, so I figured I'd give this one away to one of you guys out there. So go ahead, use the code word Nintendo, like this video, and subscribe to the channel. It's the least I can do for all the support I've received 
over the last 15 weeks. Now, guys, we've got a total of $375, which I'm gonna class as play money. Going over the budget of $8,000, this $375 is gonna be spent in the States and it's gonna be up to you guys as to how I spend it. We've also got another week up our sleeve, week 16 of the Thrift My Way to the USA series. And that money that we get next week is also gonna to go to the subscribers, basically telling me what I'm gonna do with the money. So it should be a bit of fun. It'll be really nice to see next week how much money we end up getting to play with. Um, so hopefully you can be a part of that journey. And if you haven't yet already, hit the subscribe button because the next few weeks are certainly gonna be a whole heap of fun. Really uh, appreciate your support, guys. Thank you very much for being here. As always, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next vid.